So hi everyone. So I will be explaining this problem. Check if all characters have equal number of occurrences. So this is an easy problem and I should not be explaining it and you should not be watching this video. But anyway, I just love doing easy things and I want to make this video. So I will, I'm making it. So let's understand this problem. A string is a good string if the characters in it uh, are coming equal times okay so let's understand with this example uh, so suppose uh, there is a string a b b a e so what i will do is that i will make a, a array which will have the count of the respective letters so for example initially everything will be zero then uh, a's count will be uh, what two then b's count will be two c's count will be zero d's count will be zero and e's count will be one so what I'm going to do that after I make this kind of array, so I'm assuming that this string is going to be a good string. Okay, so I'm I'm vouching that it should be true. So what I will do is that I will take the first, uh, let's say there was another letter here, let's say X, uh, technically it should not be here. And let's say it was, um, it, should, it was zero, okay. Uh, so what I will do is that I will take the f I will iterate through this alphabet array and take the first one that is non zero. So for example, two is a non zero here. So I will take two and I will make this my standard. So this standard will be two that if this was a good array, then two everything should everything that is not zero should be two. Okay, so now I will go on with this thing and uh, it is good till here this is good here because it is zero so no problem zero and suppose if this was two there was one more e then also it would have been good and i will have returned true in the end but uh, this is not uh, z uh, two it is one so the moment i find that something is not equal to my standard i will return false so that's the simple approach here and so let's code it quickly uh, Okay, I know I should be making the video for third question, but I will make it uh, in some time. So let's make our alphabet vector, vector int alpha 26. And let me know if you are new to coding, if you are watching this video, uh, alpha 26. Uh, so this this is how we do these kind of questions. You can also use a set, but that will unnecessarily complicate things. For int i is equal to i is equal to zero i less than s dot size i plus plus and alpha s i minus a plus plus so this what this means s i minus a means like uh, suppose s i was equal to a so it will increase the count of what the zero th number so this is the zero index this is the two this is the three this is four this is five so it will increase the initially uh, i'm assuming a is here this is b c and d i hope you're understanding it so mm, so this is what is happening here so initially i will set my standard equal to standards pretty low standards minus one and then i will uh, traverse to the uh, traverse the alpha array so for int i is equal to zero, i is equal to zero, i less than alpha dot size i plus plus. Then if my standard is not yet set, so standard i, oh sorry, standard is equal to minus one. That means my I have not found my non-zero letter yet. Okay, and and uh, and and alpha i is not equal to zero then i will set my standard so standard is equal to alpha i so if my uh, so i have set my standard once and if my standard is set then i will go into this loop so else if uh, else if i will write this condition that standard is not equal to minus one that is that means my standard it's set and 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 alpha i is not equal to zero that is that means i'm uh, going through a valid letter that is present in the string so here i will check if alpha i 
is not equal to my standard then i will return false and if everything goes fine we will come to the end and will return true so that's the problem for you oh uh, so i hope you liked it if you watched this till the end so that's it so thank you and have a nice day bye bye